Yo, what's up guys? It's Kill Look for the win. Back with another Clash of Clans commentary and gameplay. And to start off today's video, I have a little replay for you guys here. Uh, it's nothing too too fancy. It's just like a 400k raid. Uh, 400, you know, with the bo uh not including the bonus, so like 450k or whatever. And uh, Crystal 3 League. And this is what's awesome about uh, farming in these leagues, guys. Is you don't actually have to attack people in the same league as you. You can attack people in uh, the leagues lower than you. Sometimes you'll even find people in Gold 1 and Crystal 3 and stuff like that when you're in Crystal 2. And at the same time, you're still getting the bonus uh, for being in Crystal 2. You're getting 34k of each and 100 Dark Elixir. So that's really awesome. So that's just a little side note. Uh, if you're going to be farming in Crystal 2, you don't exactly have to raid the people in the same league as you. You can definitely raid people in lower leagues. AKA easier people for the same amount of loot. It's pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, on this guy, I'm going to go in with a couple of rage spells and a healing spell to try to keep my giants alive here. Um, as you can see, I had a ton of giants. I had like 15 or so giants, and obviously they had a ton of health. So, uh, we're going to see how far we can actually make on this guy. I uh, didn't have the best base in the world, but he did have all level 7 and 8 walls, which should be you know, uh, a big deal for me to actually destroy all these walls and make it through and three-star this guy's base. Uh, my Giants have a ton of health, though, so they may just make it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So I think I'm out of infantry, though. That's the only problem here with this raid. Uh, and these Giants are taking a very, very long time to actually break through these walls here on this guy's base. But, yeah. Looks like uh, my Archer Queen... It's going to come through and do a bunch of work. They don't even have to break through all the walls. The queen is just going to shoot through all the walls and to all the defenses. And I'm going to go ahead and speed it up a bit and see how far we can make it. So uh, a couple of you guys mentioned that you did like the song in yesterday's video. A couple of you guys mentioned that you disliked the song and that you would rather me commentate over the whole entire video. So that's a bit of a catch-22 because also some people will complain that uh, my computer span is too loud. So... Yeah, I'm kind of at a stalemate on that note. I'm still in the process of getting a new computer. I still have yet to do one. Um, probably just going to say screw it and go ahead and buy one soon. Even though I kind of was saving the money for something else. I might just, you know, look at it as an investment and go and buy the computer so I can start live streaming and stuff like that off of. Maybe I can get partnered on Twitch. I'm sure I probably could if I tried. Anyways, I have a really awesome raid here for you guys. Uh against Papa High, I guess is how you say his name, and uh, yeah, in High Clan, hi Papa High, <laughs> I've come to three star your base, bro, no I'm just kidding, uh, I don't I don't think I three star this guy exactly, I think I get the majority of the loot off on him, but we'll have to wait and see, as you can see he does have um, almost a maxed out tunnel 10, uh, this, uh, not including the walls, despite his walls, uh, he does have nearly a max out tunnel 10. The thing about it is his base is very inactive. He doesn't have his Inferno Towers or his Expos loaded. So that's the only thing that makes it actually possible for me to raid him, obviously. I probably would have not raided him had all that stuff been loaded. So, uh, fortunately it was not loaded today. And we're going to go in with a bunch of Giants and Wizards, actually. Uh, you'll notice I probably spam my troops too quickly here. I'm down to 15 Archers. And we only have 30% 30, 30 done on this guy, so I clearly dropped my troops a little bit too quickly on this raid. Uh, I guess I just got anxious to get in there with my giants, with my troops. So that's where I messed up. I probably should have gone for the collectors a little bit more on the outskirts of this guy's base. But the problem with that was that he had his defenses really, really far out there, like his archer towers. Some of them were on the outside of his base. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drop a couple of these archers where I know they won't actually get hurt. And they can go for a gold mine in there. And another thing about this guy's base was a lot of his loot was on the inside of his base as well. It wasn't all just on the outside and really easy to get to. So even though he wasn't active, he had a bunch of lo uh, loot in his storages as well, which was kind of kind of odd to me. But, you know, it is, it's whatever. It is what it is. Uh, I'm still going to go for what I can actually get out of this guy and see how much it'll be. So, uh, yeah, my giants all died out in the center of this guy's base. And now I'll have left is a couple archers and a wall breaker left. So I went ahead and dropped these archers on the outskirts, uh, hoping they wouldn't get hit by those archer towers, which they did not, which is pretty awesome. So now they're free to uh, destroy these barracks and see how much dark elixir they can actually get out of this drill. Looks like they're going to get like a couple hundred or something, which is pretty nice. Definitely 
tops off this raid. Now, the main thing that I'm shooting for right now is that gold, uh, that gold collector right there. Looks like it had heaps of gold in it. Unfortunately, I don't make it to that. So that's only going to make this like a 250, or I mean like a uh, 250k of each raid. Not even that. It's like a freaking 450k raid, not even 500k, which is freaking insane to me. <coughs> if I had had hogs on that guy, I'm pretty sure even with only two healing spells, I would have been able to three-star him. And yeah, that kind of sucked. So anyways, I'm going to come back to base, go ahead and upgrade my Barb King to level 13, go ahead and start my last wizard tower to max out. Really awesome. Pretty stoked for that. So uh, that's some pretty huge upgrades in my opinion. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show a defensive replay for you guys. This is actually going to be a uh, P.E.K.K.A. raid for you guys. Um, yeah, this guy had a ton of gold. He had about 400,000 gold and, you know, like 160k uh elixir and like 2000 dark elixir or no like 100 what what is that 1175 dark elixir but uh tons of gold tons of gold right so uh going with these wizards right and these uh pekkas and it looks like the wizards are kind of dying out to this inferno tower really quickly this freaking op inferno tower so i'm going to drop a healing spell hopefully that will help out one or two of my troops i know that you know it's useless wall that the inferno tower is targeting them but uh, luckily, my queen did push up enough while she was under the rage spell to manage to actually uh, get in and destroy that Inferno Tower. And, you know, it made, made a little bit more use of that healing spell. So anyways, I'm going to go in with another rage spell and a, a bunch of more wizards. And luckily, uh, they're actually going to be able to push up and do a ton of damage, destroy that town hall and that gold storage. And get the majority of the gold. Luckily, that Inferno Tower kind of died, or kind of died at the last second there. Uh, probably either way, it would have, um, you know, the Wizards would have made their way up. But it's really awesome how this raid ended up. So I get 380k gold, not including the bonus. So that's like, uh, you know, 413,000 gold, and then you know a ton of elixir as well. So that was a pretty solid raid in my opinion. So here we have another inactive town hall tenor. Uh, guy doesn't have Inferno Towers. Never did, I don't think. Uh, he just has, it looks like he just has his Expos at level 4, and they are not loaded. Even though, yeah, even though they're maxed out, they're not even loaded. So I'm going to start off drawing out his, uh, his heroes. Pretty sure he doesn't have any Clan Castle troops. I think I did check for that, but uh, whenever they're this inactive, you don't really have to look for the Clan Castle troops. Normally I say that, but I've seen some pretty odd odd stuff in some bases before <coughs> oh god excuse me I just ate some red beans and rice so yeah if my throat sounds raspy that's why no, I'm just kidding I'm not I'm not a redneck I just like to joke like I am sometimes anyways um so yeah this guy did not even have his third expo uh he must have gemmed I'm gonna go ahead and go down the limb and say that he gemmed those expos to level four because why would you have level four expos and not a third expo or not inferno towers uh, just struck me as a little bit odd in my opinion but you know it is what it is I'm not gonna hate on the guy you can gem all you want to it's your it's your money dog people like people commented to me they were like so mad that I said something about uh, gemming people gemming heroes like dude I don't care if you gem your your base I don't care if people gem it like it's their money who the hell am I to judge and, and say you can't spend your money on gems like we're all gemmers let me put it this way uh, if you're above, like, a level 50, you gemmed at some point. Like, there's no denying it. I'm sorry. Unless you, like, still only have, like, two or three builders and you're, you're moving very slowly, like, you gemmed. I mean, I gemmed. I spent $70 on gems. There's nothing wrong with that fact. Uh, to me, it, it just depends on how much you spent on gems, you know? Did you spend a few thousand dollars on gems? Because that's a little bit outlandish, in my opinion, and not necessary. It kind of takes away from the game. I'd rather farm my way up there, you know, I uh, use gems to boost barracks and stuff like that, but yeah, I've spent $70 on gems, $80, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say it, pretty much everybody that's, as far as I am at the game has gemmed at one point or another, and there's really nothing wrong with that, so yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys that uh, thought I was hating on gemmers, uh, anyways, on this raid, we're going to get uh, 650k before the loot bonus, uh, a bit over 700k afterwards. So yeah, once again, save the best for last. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave a like for more daily uploads. Uh, thanks for over 15,000 subscribers. Love all you guys. Let's kill a look for the one sign out. Peace.